we are here again. Here we have this radical question before us here. How to solve this question here? The square root of x plus 4 plus the square root of 2x minus 1 equal to 3 into the square root of x minus 1. What is the value of values of x that will satisfy this equation, this radical challenge? So let's go into this solving without much waste of time. So we take our solution first thing first. We have our solution. All right. As we can see, this is a very simple challenge. The first thing we just have to do here is just to um, take the square of both sides because this is a square root. So let's square both sides of the equation. So this is going to give us here a um, bracket, the square root of x plus 4. Okay. There plus the square root of our 2x minus 1, those bracket are squared. This is equal to. 3 into the square root of our x minus 1 r squared. Now we don't have problem with this side of the equation. Here we just have to do some simple simplification. Now we all know the uh, algebraic identity which says that if you have your let's use a okay plus a b r to the power of 2 this is equal to a to the power of 2 then plus 2 a b plus b to the power of 2. We know this, right? Okay, so we're going to apply this identity here. Here, our a is everything here, our b is everything here. So with this, this now implies, or this gives us here, we're going to have the square root of our x plus 4, r to the power of 2, then plus 2 into a, b. So we have here the square root of our x plus 4, right? The bracket here, the square root of our 2x minus 1, right? Close bracket. The plus, yeah, let's bring our plus, our b, can be here, b squared. So here we will have here, bracket into the square root of 2x minus 1, here, close bracket, all squared, everything equal to. Yeah, this square we affect this three and we affect this. So this will go with this. Then we have two years. Okay, so we have two years. So two to the uh, three to the power of two will give us nine. So we have here nine. Then bracket our x minus one plus bracket. Okay. So yeah, this this will go with this and this will go with this. So we we'll end up having x plus 4, there plus 2 into, here we have the square root, here we have the square root. So we can put this together to give us here the square root of bracket x plus 4 bracket bracket 2x minus 1 plus bracket, there plus, here we have 2x minus 1, right? Everything equal to, we can open up this to give us 9x minus 9. All right, so from here, we can add this and this together. That would give us 3x, then 4 minus 1 will give us plus 3. Then move everything to this side of the curve. We leave this one on this side. So we're going to have here the square root. Let's put our two brackets, bracket open, x plus our 4. Close bracket, bracket 2, x minus 1, close bracket, of bracket plus equal to about 9, x minus 9, then we said x plus 2x will give us plus 3x. Send it to this other side, we give us minus 3x, then we have 4, minus 1 will give us plus 3, send it to this side, gives us minus 3. All right, so if we carry out our subtraction here, this automatically will give us um, my x minus 3x will give us 6x, then minus 9, minus uh, 3 will give us minus 12. So we now have our equation here to be our 2, then into, take our square root here, our bracket x plus 4, plus bracket, bracket 2, x minus 1 plus bracket then equal to our 6. Now we are having 2 here. Yeah, now look at 2 here. We are having 2 there and here 
we are having 6x minus 12. So we can bring out 2 from here also. So we can use 2 to divide this. If we factor out 2 from here, this is going to give us 2 into our 3x then minus 6. All right? So that this will go with this. So if we divide through by 2. Okay. So look at what we have here now. We are now having basically our square root of our x plus 4, close bracket, bracket 2, x minus 1, close bracket, equal to our 3x minus 6. So what we do here is easy. We are still having the radical here. So we have to eliminate this square root radical. And what we do to this, we take the square of both sides again. So let's take the square of this. Square of this, and we equally take the square of this side too. And so this goes with this radical. So we cannot open up this. And of course, we know that if we open up, this is going to give us um, um, my x squared. So we have here my x squared there minus. This will give us a uh, 3 times 6, that will give us 18 times 2, that will give us um, 36x. So I have a minus 36x, then plus, then um, 6 to the power of will give us a 36, right? So I have a 36. All right. So now we're going to have the whole of this equal to this. So let's continue on this side here. Let's see what this gives us in turn. All right. Now, from here, our right hand side, the left hand side will give us a bracket x plus 4, close bracket, into bracket 2x minus 1 equal to, here we have my um, x to the power of 2, there, minus 36, x there, plus 36, right? Okay. So, at this point, we cannot open up this. So, if we use this to find this, this will give us here 2x to the power of 2, then minus x, then plus 8x minus 4 equal to my x to the power of 2 minus 36x plus 36. We can collect our lightings. Easy, right? So, let's move everything here to this side of the equation. So, this is going to give us 0 is equal to my to the power of x squared. This will give us minus 2x to the power of 2. Then, this, this together. Okay, let's take this first. So, we have here minus 36x. Yeah, if we add this to the, this, will give us plus 7x. So, if we move it to this side, we give us minus 7x. Then, we move this to this side. Let's put down this square, which is 36. Then, this process to this side gives us plus of 4. So automatically, let's rearrange again. Move this zero to this that side and rearrange. We give us 7s to the power of 2, then minus 36x minus 7x. That will give us minus 43. So we are minus 43x. Okay. Then this plus this will give us here um, plus 40. This is equal to 0. Okay, of course, nothing can divide through these numbers, but this is a quadratic equation. So we have to solve this using either the formula method or the objective square method or the factorization method. But let's check if we can use the factorization method. Can we use the factorization method? Yes, we can use the factorization method. Here we are having 7 attached to our x to the power of 2. So we use this 7 to times this 40, and 7 times 40 will give us. 20, sorry, 280. So among the factors of 280, among the factors of 280, we look for two numbers that when we multiply together, will give us plus 280, and their addiction will give us minus 43. Yeah. So what two numbers will give us that? Definitely we're going to have um, uh, 8 and 35, yeah, 8 and 35 will give us what we want here, okay? So let's go ahead and write this out here. So let's write this expression. So we're going to have this to be 7s to the power of 2, then yeah? um, going to give us minus 8 minus 35, yeah, minus 8 minus 35. So minus 8x 
minus 35 x the plus our 40 equal to zero. So we can put this in bracket, then put this in bracket. What are the things that are common to this and this? We just have x. So here we have x into x here we left it 7x then minus x here will give us here 8 then minus what is common to this and this is just 5 so 5 we now go into this 5 here will give us 7x then minus times plus will give us minus so we have here minus 5 into 40 will give us 8 here everything equal to 0 so you discover that what we have here and what we have here are the same so we take these and these that are out and take one of them so we're going to have this x minus 5 close bracket bracket our 7x minus 8 they equal to 0. so here we apply the zero product rule we made use of the zero product rule in some of our, um, our videos okay so we equate this to zero we equate this to zero so we're going to have here x minus 5 equal to zero or our 7x minus 8 equal to 0. Send this to this side so we have x is equal to 5 positive and here we're going to have our, our 7x is equal to 8. Divide both side by 7, divide both side by 7. This, this leaves. So we now have our x is equal to 8 all over 7. Okay, so this is our x1, this is our x2. But what to check if these two roots we actually satisfy the original equation here. So let's do a simple check to these answers here. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna have here the square root of we said we're taking the first one, which is five. So we're going to have here five there plus our four there plus the square root. Here we have two into five then minus one then equal to three into the square root of our five minus one. Simple substitution, right? Good. So here, five plus four, that will give us nine. So we have here the square root of nine plus the square root of two times five will give us 10. Minus one will give us nine. This is equal to, so here we're going to have three into the square root of five minus one will give us four. So you discover that what we have inside the square root our perfect square. So this will give us here three, here plus, here will give us three, quarter, so we have three times two. So three plus three will give us six, quarter, two times three will give us six. So it shows that the first root, which is x equal to five, satisfies the original equation. Now, I made a check for x2 which is 8 all over 7 and I discovered that it didn't satisfy the original equation and so from the two roots we have x1 equal to 5 and x2 equal to our 8 all over 7 this one is rejected okay so we discard this and this one is the only accepted root that satisfies the original radical equation all right so this brings us to the end of today's challenge. Thanks for always be there. Drop your question in the comment section below. Remember, this is All I Must TV, and we all here, we love you dearly. Bye. And do not fail to keep watching All I Must TV. Until we see you in our next video, keep winning. Bye. For now.